Broke is a condition, but poor is a mindset. Let's talk about it. The opening line of this episode was actually said by our pastor last Sunday. Right. So, you know, we've been in this collection for the past few weeks now mm. of changing your mindset, mm. you know, having a mindset shift. It's so true because if you think about it, you can be in a situation where you're not really making that much money, but you have the mindset that you want to change. You're changing your habits, right. you know? And so by doing that, you can change your circumstance, mm. you know, but... Oh, I'm sorry, because you look like you want to jump in. I kind of did want to jump in, but I didn't want to step on your toes. So go ahead. ahead, Finish your point. No, go ahead. Okay. All right. So we're getting a little excited and (laughs) we're stepping on each other's toes. But hey, we're just having a free flowing conversation. And this is what we do here at Mm -hmm. Humble Beginnings to Winning. There's a big Mm -hmm. difference between being broke and being poor. Mm -hmm. And as long as you stay out of that mindset of being poor, then and you have a mindset, okay, I might be here right now. But I know I have bigger and better things on the horizon. Mm -hmm. When you have those type of thoughts, Mm -hmm. then you're continuing to push forward even through hard circumstances for the time being. Yeah. And I think that it actually and it's so funny how as we continue to have these conversation of of growth and value and excelling your circumstances, you start to realize how a lot of what we talk about just flows and correlates with one another so mm. much because you know last last topic was about gratitude and you have to have gratitude in situations like this this Amen. is kind of going back to what we said before this is how gratitude really helps because it you realize that regardless of your circumstances whatever obstacle you may come across um whatever challenge you may be facing you're grateful and you know that it's not going to be like this forever you know exactly. you can weather the storm you can get through it But if your mindset isn't in a place where you can have that gratitude, your circumstances can, like you said, begin to overconsume you and you find yourself stuck in a rut or stuck in a place where life is passing you by and you're still in in the same space. It's like, well, why isn't anything changing for me? You know, like how come all of my friends are doing this and that or my family's doing this and everybody around me, it seems as if they're excelling. And a lot of times it's just like, a little self-reflecting and saying internally, well, hey, what are my habits? You know, mm-hmm. what is my what is my mindset like? Am I focused on a growth mindset or am I stuck in like a fixed mindset that exactly. my, my circumstances will never change? That's a great you point. Know? And I think another part of the poor mentality is a lack of motivation. Mm-hmm. I think a lack of motivation really is the reason why you can get into a poor mentality mm-hmm. because you have nothing that's fueling your fire. You're not you're not waking up in the morning and, and going and getting whatever you want. Mm-hmm. And you're not tackling the goals that you once had because you're in this poor mentality of saying, OK, I'm just always going to be here. So motivation is a huge part of staying away from ever having a poor mentality, mm-hmm. even if your circumstances are where you're not doing financially well and also, what is your why? Yes. What is yes. your why? Because that is motivation is going to be, let's say, like the gas that you put into your car and your car is your why, mm. because you kind of need both to help you exceed your goal. You know I what like I mean? That. Or maybe I not like exceed that. your goal, but help you get toward the goal. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to have a why for when you do run out of gas and right. you're not feeling that motivated or you do have to have a why if you you're have if you feeling like you're stuck in a rut or whatever or to change your your mindset i think having a why is going to give you purpose when you feel like you know today isn't your day or you're just having a bad month and then that in turn can give you that motivation to fuel you and, and, and keep you going and it's when it comes to money unless you win the lottery which is few far and in between I mean, success, just financial success and freedom doesn't happen overnight. No, and And definitely mm -hmm. definitely for people like us that come from humble beginnings, you have to go out and you have to work for it. No matter what challenges you may face, what obstacles, things like that, or if you feel like you're at a point where you're doing financially well, you still have to put in the discipline. You still have to put in, you know, 
the sacrifice. You have to have patience. You have to budget. You have to plan. Consistency. You have to plan. Regardless, you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to put in the work to reach your financial goals and have that financial success. And when I say the work, that's kind of going back to having that discipline to to budget and to do that. Or you're going to have to put in work if you don't do it. And then you make the decision to make some changes. And now you're trying to play catch up and like pay bills that you may have missed or, you know, if you fall behind financially. So um, it's just it's it's work. It is work. Mm -hmm. And that kind of goes to the point that I want to make is that we all have to continue to be on the path to wanting more for our lives whatever you want in your life so Mm -hmm. what is your why you have to really ask yourself that what is your why yeah and then once you understand what that is then you continue to work on it day in and day out Mm -hmm. but it's not a it's not a linear path just Mm -hmm. straight up oh no there Mm -hmm. there's times where you're going to make mistakes and you're going to fail but you have to continue to get out of that poor mentality if you if you are there Mm -hmm. and continue to work your way and climb your way up the ladder to a financial place where you feel comfortable and you have financial Mm -hmm. independence or financial security and that's what we preach here on this channel Mm -hmm. humble beginnings to winning we we come from humble beginnings Mm -hmm. so we're having conversations about beating the odds Mm -hmm. and wanting more for our lives rather than what we had when we were growing up. We want to we wanna be in a better place than the places we were when we were growing up mm-hmm. and have better circumstances for ourselves, for our family, and for generations to come. Yeah, and to share information with you all so that you can take these tools and take just what we're saying in a conversation and apply it. If it, if it works for you, apply it to your life, your circumstances, and hopefully you'll excel in that. And exactly. it becomes a generational thing where the information is being just spread out and mm-hmm. it's a value to so many people. So that's what we want to do. We just want to provide information in a conversational type of way mm-hmm. where it can add value to your life and that you can take little bits and pieces and be like, okay, I, This sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then one last thing is that you can plan for the future and it's always great to plan for the future. That's what budgeting, that's what is going to help you with that financial success. But as we were saying, challenges and things like that do happen. You can't predict the future. So, you know, financial growth is not a linear path. You're going to have some some setbacks, some obstacles. You're going to have some some moments where you're winning and then things happen because we plan for the future, but we can't predict the future. Right. So there, there may be some challenges that throw you back a little bit, but if you you're focused me, on um, having a growth mindset and not limiting yourself to a poor mindset or just limiting to thinking that whatever hardships you're going through will be your forever circumstance, right. then you got this. And we hope that you enjoy it. And we hope that this message encourages you to really just take that step and make the change because we all want to grow together. Wow, what an incredible message. So to reiterate, broke is a condition, but poor is a mindset. So we're going to sign off for today. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Bye, guys. Enjoy the journey.